yeah, don't bite the celebrities. Hey guys, girls and everyone in between, welcome back to my channel and today is my long awaited Walker Stalker video. I went last year and I have some amazing tips and tricks. So this is my Walker Stalker con tips, tricks and what not to do video. Let's go. Okay, it feels like I'm giving away trade secrets here because I learnt loads last year and I have a wealth of information to give to you guys that are going to Walker Stalker or planning on going. It is the best experience, you will have an amazing time. So. I'm going to give away my trade secrets, use them wisely. Uh, when buying photo ops, group it goes from group A to E, and A and B are normally the groups that go like hotcakes. You will go on there and you won't get one because if you choose those first, they will have gone the minute you go. So, all my tip is to go for group C to E when you're buying photo ops online, because not everyone just goes, oh, I'm going to go to the group that is lower in the day, um, because um, a is the first group to go and E is the last group to go, obviously. Um, definitely go from C to E because you have got more of a chance of getting the photo ops. So that is a big tip from me. So go and follow that because I don't want anyone to be disappointed not getting a photo op. So that's why I'm sharing my big trade secret with you guys. It's probably not big. Everyone's going to be watching this video like, oh, I already knew that. But I treasured my photo ops forever. This is my favourite. Good old JDM. And I can't wait to recreate this next year. Uh, this year. Um, speaking of photo ops, uh, they are not a meet and greet. They will go so quickly. The man will shout next really loud in your ear. You'll explain your photo op. They give you like a tiny amount of time to explain your photo op. Don't stammer. Be clear and just say, I'd like this please. And they have the right to say no. Some people are a bit no boundaries when it comes to photo ops and ask for some weird things. And they have the right to say no and you cannot be angry with them in saying no. Imagine how you'd feel wanting to do weird things with somebody in a photo op. You know, be prepared for them to say, oh, I don't feel comfortable with this. But um, JDM and Norman, they will last 30 seconds. You explain your photo op, click next, click next, click next. It's like 30 seconds, it's not a meet and greet. It's best not to think about how much you paid <laughs> when you're in there. <laughs> you just click next, you have the physical copy and now you have a add-on, a digital add-on included, perfect, uh, it is very fast and Norman and Jeffrey will have fag breaks <laughs> in the middle of their photo ops and this year they are together doing photo ops there at the same time so they are going to have fag breaks and it will take a long time. Uh, last year it was a little bit of a hoo-ha over um, them keep going out for fag breaks but they deserve it, they are there all day, they are getting paid but they're giving up their time where they could act or something uh, to meet you guys and they could say no. So uh, just bear it in mind that they are human and they need a break too, even if you'll be queuing for ages, you know. So be prepared for them to just say, I'm going to stop photo ops for 10 minutes and go for a fag break. Everybody is there for the same thing and you're going to make friends in the line. I did. So it doesn't matter, it's not that deep, you can just talk to people around you, you know. Okay, this is a big trade secret from me anyway especially this year because pre-sale autographs aren't happening this year which is quite sad because they did work very well last year so I'm anticipating a big big queue at Norman and JDM's line so my plan is to get there first go in uh, on the Saturday or the Sunday and go straight to Norman's line or JDM's line whoever you fancy first even if they're not there you go in that line sit down and queue uh, if you are allowed because you might not be allowed. Uh, last year, I don't think Lauren's people were allowed to queue until a certain time, but I might be wrong. Do not take that at face value. Um, my plan is to go straight to Norman and queue for the morning until I have a photo op because I don't want to miss out. I missed out on Norman's autograph last year. Don't want to miss out this year. My advice, if you want any of the big cast, JDM, uh, Lauren or Norman, go straight to their queue first and this year Denai is going so if you want her autograph go to her queue first and sit stand sit you can sit on the floor uh, if you're prepared so definitely go to their lines first pro tip there hopefully now the pre sales aren't happening that will work for everybody and there won't be any problems uh, but following on from that they will be pricey uh, last year we found out how expensive they were because there was a pre-sale and now I think it's going to be a bit of a shock, go up to there and the Norman's agent person 
I can't remember his sudden name, and his girlfriend will be there uh, helping you to choose what autographs you want, and the prices are set right there, and it might be a shock this year, they will be pricey, so um, bank on that. If you have any form of disability, if you have a sensory disability, uh, and, aka anxiety, that stops you from going around your day-to-day -day activities, go see Katie at Disabilities. It will be around the Olympia, near where you buy your tickets. She is an absolute angel. Uh, we bought her chocolate last year because she was so wonderful to me and my best friend. And if you do have anxiety, uh, tell her and she will give you a card where you can give to the volunteer and then we'll write a time for you to come back and go straight to the front of the line. Don't fuck around with this system. If you don't have anxiety or any disability do not go to katie and ask for one of those cards that is disrespectful for one and just downright immoral uh to get to the front of the queue don't do it but if you do have any of those disabilities go to see katie because her and her staff are wonderful there'll be more stalker t-shirts there in uh red last year uh be nice to staff is a big one be nice to staff, especially the volunteers, because they're not getting paid to argue with you. They're not getting paid at all. And I wouldn't want to stand there all day, not meeting my favourite people, uh, arguing with some uh, person with attitude who doesn't like the rules, you know? Be nice to staff. The ones that are getting paid aren't getting paid to listen to your crap. They'll help you when you need help, and the majority of volunteers and staff are lovely, and they will help you out. So go to them if you have any problems and don't hate them for waving their arms when you try and get a picture of the actors signing at tables. It's their job. Those are the rules. Rules are what make it all work. Yeah, so don't get angry with them. It's just their job. It's just the rules. And I know it sucks that you want to get candids of your friends meeting the actors and you can if you sneak it. But, I should, probably shouldn't have said that, but don't uh, get aggy at them if they wave their arms, it's their job, you know. But the majority of them are really helpful and really nice. So be nice to staff. Get your cameras and phones and or phones ready before you go to meet them. You'll stand in a line and choose things and you can opt for selfies and autographs combo. Uh, I know um, Alana does selfie and auto combo, she did that for me. Um, it's usually around £80, £40. It will go up this year because mm, that's what life's like, you know, whatever. But uh, most actors will offer a combo. I know Chanda does it, um, Austin did it last year, Alana does it. Uh, most of them do do selfies. Um, so have your camera and phone out. You don't want to fiddle around with your phone, drop it on the floor, smash the screen with your shaky hands, you know. <laughs> you want to be prepared with your camera out to get a few nice pictures. And the majority of them will take a few pictures. Like um, Alana took about 15 pictures. And even Christian took more than 12 pictures. So definitely have your camera and phone out ready. Um, some of the big actors will not do selfies, Deny won't do selfies, JDM and Norman won't do selfies because uh, they're so popular and it will take 10 years. Jeffrey, the sweetheart, just talks for England and he'll talk to you for ages and get told off by his security for chatting too much. That's why he won't be doing selfies because you'll be there for like 10 hours. Uh, this is the most important one. Don't be inappropriate. They're not there to get sexually harassed by you. They get it enough online and it's really gross. I've seen some things at Walkstalker that I need a pot spoon to get rid of. Don't be inappropriate. You don't want to go up to actors and say, I had a sex dream about you or something. <laughs> That's the first inappropriate thing that came into my head. <laughs> but no, being inappropriate towards the actors is just gross and it just makes you look like a dribbling middle-aged freak with no boundaries. Don't do it. It won't leave a good impression and mm. imagine being a celebrity and having someone come up to you and say something really gross. Like, you don't want to deal with that. So don't extend the same courtesy, you know what I mean? Be appropriate. You might fancy them. Who doesn't fancy JDM, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm not going to go up to him and say something inappropriate. <laughs> Just no. They get enough of that and it doesn't give the UK fans a very good reputation so don't do it don't bite norman he's already gotten bitten by two people 
who got banned from the con, I may add. So, yeah, don't bite the celebrities. This isn't a rule. This is just something that I find awkward. Inappropriate photo ops. There was a photo op that I saw. I'm not judging this woman because she has balls to ask that photo op, but I just think it was inappropriate. It says, it was like, the caption was, the saviors are coming and she was on her knees and it was a trio op. <laughs> no outrageous photo ops. They do have the right to say no. Some of them are up for that. Like Stephen Ogg, I know he's up for some cool photo ops, but <laughs> just be considerate, please. <laughs> please, I beg. Uh, another one, same, similar ballpark. Stalking the celebrities' hotels is just, no, where are your boundaries? Do you have boundaries? Standing outside their celebrities' hotel, waiting for them to come out and then swarming them with camps and shit. Not cool. Some of them walk about like uh, Scott Wilson walked about last year. Uh, and if you're lucky enough to see him, then by all means ask for a photo if he's up for it. But just stalking the hotel is not cool. I went to a script concert in Ireland uh, a couple years ago. Uh, and they were just standing outside the hotel room. The hotel and in the foyer is just not cool. Some of the celebrities like Melissa McBride have a bit of anxiety. and. I, I have anxiety and I don't wouldn't want to be swarmed like that. I mean, you know, think about things before you do them. It's no dig or anything, it's just, imagine if that was you, like. So if you're going for the first time, be prepared to queue. Uh, there are thousands of people that go to this convention and JDM's line, Norman's line, Denai's line and Sonequa's line and Chandler's line will be massive this year. Be prepared to stand for half an hour, if not hours, especially for photo ops, because they have a high volume of people wanting to meet them. And I know we're British, and I know it's difficult, but you have to queue. <laughs> uh, yeah, wear comfortable shoes in said queues. I know wearing high heels is aesthetically pleasing and it makes you taller. Saying from somebody that is 5'2", uh, it does make you taller, but the aesthetics don't weigh out comfort not by a mile. You don't want to walk around with a minefield of blisters on your feet all day for like 12 hours a day. You don't want to be doing that. You don't want to be doing that. 12 hours might be a bit of an exaggeration, but you will be standing. There's not many places to sit. So wear comfy shoes. Celebrities don't look at your feet anyway, you know? Take advantage of Will Call um, if you're from the UK. It's called Box Office and it's usually the day before. Uh, this year it's the 9th of March between 12 in the afternoon and 8 at night and the Walker Stalker Con staff will be there and you can redeem your tickets, your wristbands and your photo op vouchers. Keep these safe. You will not be able to get in the con without them. You won't be able to get into a photo op without them. They are credit card size and it's like currency. If you lose it, you've just wasted 128 quid and somebody else can pick it up off the floor and be like, ooh, photo op, you know? not worth it you keep it in your purse keep it on your person in your pocket at all times just make sure you have it don't lose it because you don't want to regret uh not having a safe place to keep it bring portable chargers if you go up to a celebrity and then your phone dies it's like oh how do i take a selfie i just paid for a selfie how do i take it so portable chargers i'm bringing two this year i will leave a link to awesome portable chargers in the description and pictures up here this is a pro tip from me bring your own food and drink if you're not from the UK, London is so expensive. It's it's like New York, you know? It's a capital city, it's gonna be pricey, more pricey than other places, you know? The food, last year we spent ages trying to choose food and I've got celiac disease, which is a food allergy. Um, they have nothing for people like me. And if you're dairy free, they probably won't have things for you either. So my pro tip, for anybody, whether you have an allergy or not, is bring your own food. Because it's cheaper, you'll have it on you, you won't have to leave the queue to get food, and you will save yourself a wad of cash where you could go get um, a poster or somebody's art. You don't have to spend it on food, you could just pop down the shop the day before and get some snacks, you know. So yeah, bring your own food and drink. Following on from the food and drink, 
the toilet queues and the cloakroom queues will be hours long. Last year, we went to go to the toilet, we were queuing for like an hour. And it's always the ladies that, uh, <laughs> that have the biggest queue, you know. So, be careful. You can go outside to the toilet, uh, don't be in the street, <laughs> um, to a public toilet, but it's not worth queuing to get back in. Be careful with how much you drink. It's like a festival. If you drink too much, you have to leave your spot to go for a pee, you know? And people will give you side eyes if you cut the queue to stand with your friend, you know? They don't get someone to hold your place either, you know? Rookie mistake there. Um, be careful with your drink intake. Uh, and if you do desperately need to go to the toilet, what can you do? You're gonna have to queue up. Prepare for your bags to be searched. You can't just go straight in. I do recommend bringing a bag because you will need to hold things. Uh, if you bring the right bag and don't overfill your bag, you will be fine. Um, they will have to search your bag. As I said, uh, the gun rules and all of that stuff has been uh, cranked up this year after Christina Grimmie got shot, unfortunately, at her concert and all the other things that have been going on in this fucked up world. Um, you have to bring clear bags and prepare for them to be searched. They won't take long and it is their job, so be nice to the staff because they're just there to protect you and protect the guests, uh, understandably. So prepare for your bags to be searched, it won't take long, and then it'll be straight in, ready to go. On the Walkstalker group, I've seen loads of people say, it's so hot, don't bring a jacket. I was freezing last year. I only wore my thin leather jacket and a thin vest top. Mistake, the worst mistake I ever made at Walkstalker was wearing hardly any clothes. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. Um, bring a jumper bring a hoodie, you could either tie it around your waist or put it in your bag, put it in the cloakroom if you're willing to spend like a pound to put it back, but you don't want to be cold because it kind of ruined my queuing experience being freezing. I remember I was queuing for JDM with my friend and I hugged her because I was so cold, so bring a jumper. Other people might be warm, but if you're skinny like me, you might not be feeling the warmth and it is March. Last year it was raining a bit and it's indoors, don't get me wrong, but it's still a little bit cold. There wasn't much heating going on. So uh, bring a jumper, even if it's just a backup, even if you don't need it, bring a jumper. If you're going to walk StalkerCon and you watch my videos, come and say hi. I will be around. I'll probably be in a few queues, but if you see me, don't hesitate to come say hi because I don't bite. I'm not scary. I'm a little 5'2". I will be dressed in red. Uh, I know that because I've planned my outfits weeks ahead. 10 out of 10 for organisation. But yeah, if you see me, definitely come say hi because I love you guys and I wanted to thank you guys in person for watching my videos because I wouldn't be doing any of this without you guys. So thank you so much uh, for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful time at Org Stalker if you're going and if you're planning on going next year, take something from this video, I hope you've taken something and you follow my advice because I've given away some trade secrets in this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon for The Walking Dead. It starts again. One week, one week today until Carl's dead. There will be tears and there will be blood and there will be some swearing. You know me, but I've got my tissues ready already. My social media, uh, Amazon and everything it will be down below including the links for the portable chargers and everything else i found handy this walk stalker con so i'll see you soon have fun stay safe i sound like your mother bye everyone see you soon